better savor it. Ah. Because you're going to have to endure most of the rest of the election season without your SNL fix. I don't really like people. <laughs> I only talk to them because I want to be the president so bad. Just when Kate McKinnon has nailed her Hillary and 60-year-old Daryl Hammond has made a comeback as the Donald. And everyone loves me. I even got this fat piece of crap behind me now. <laughs> yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Please, sir, may I have another? And Larry David manages to be himself and Bernie at the same time. Oh, Hillary, I'll miss that lack of charm. Uh. What we'll be lacking is SNL. No Larry, no Kate, no Daryl. The three stooges of SNL political impersonation gone? Gone until the new season starts. I'll leave. Never. A mere month or so. For election day, no more dancing candidates, no more reenactments of Hillary's Metro card fail. It's been a while. No more crawling over the turnstile. I'll take a cab. And no more candidates themselves trying to be funny. He used to call me on the cell phone. Or pretending to be president. The president of Mexico is here to see you. Ah, Donald. Enrique. I brought you the check for the wall. God, it's so wonderful. Who could forget Val? Hey, bartender, keep them coming. All anyone wants to talk about is Donald Trump. Donald Trump? Isn't he the one that's like, ugh, you're all losers? <laughs> McKinnon told Time the skit was the greatest day of my life, while Hillary tweeted, a vote for Hillary is a vote for four more years of Kate McKinnon's impression. As for Daryl Hammond, when he returns next season, he'll be playing both the Republican nominee and the aspiring first spouse. Oh my God. They're multiplying. Genimo, CNN. New York.